What's up guys, my name is Carlos Roberto. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do so right now. And if you guys are subscribed, please make sure you have that notification bell button on because it's very important. That's the only way you guys will get notified if I upload a video. So do that right now and thank you so much. <laughs> So today what I have for you guys is a video regarding five different hairstyles you guys could achieve with wavy curly hair And I think for me it's very important for me to make these kind of videos because a lot of you guys asked me about different hairstyles I figured I'd make you guys a video regarding five different hairstyles that you guys could achieve with your wavy curly hair So let's go ahead and talk about that now so haircut number one is a wavy fringe now wavy fringe is an amazing hairstyle like this one right here as you can see it's a very high fashion look uh you see a lot of runway models wearing this and it's a very versatile hairstyle as well which is why i like it it's also very easy to maintain if you guys want to use a product like hairspray just to keep it up or if you guys want to use a texturizing spray or a soft styling cream then you guys could use that just to make sure that your waves are tussled and pronounced and you have that natural wave and volume that comes along with having wavy curly hair and I highly recommend if you guys are looking into a wavy fringe that you guys get a very nice medium haircut length uh, I don't necessarily recommend it going super short on the sides like like this is a very short if I want to have a wavy fringe I think it looks a lot better if you have a little bit more volume with a little bit more hair length on the side as you see in this photo right here uh, this guy looks amazing with his hairstyle and I want to grow my hair back out ASAP but this is a very nice fashion forward uh, stylish hairstyle that you guys could easily achieve with your wavy curly hair Hairstyle number two is a wavy quiff, and a wavy quiff is a little bit shorter than a wavy fringe. This, this hair length is uh, three to four inches on top, and on the side, it's still a little bit longer depending on your preference that you want, but it's a very easy haircut to maintain as well. You blow dry it, and you, you could add some boosting spray, or you could just add a nice little pomade to put the sides back and just allow the top to kind of do its thing, but you could also manage the top with a little bit of a styling cream, something that doesn't have too much of a high hold. You're still gonna wanna put something on there so you could pronounce uh, the hairstyle and kind of separate the top from the sides uh, so that's why I recommend you guys using a, a pomade for the sides or you guys could use even the same styling cream that you guys use and just a little bit more on the sides tame the sides down just a little bit so you kind of could separate uh, the quiff from the wavy curl length that are on the sides so this hairstyle is very easy as well like I said the length is probably around three to four inches on top max and it's gonna give you a nice result and you're still gonna have a nice volume and texture and you guys could even use a uh, you guys could even use a round brush comb to slightly take out some of the wave if it's or your curls if it's too too curly if you guys actually want to have a nice quiff going but other than that this hairstyle is very classic and it's very easy to do and very easy to maintain as well so hairstyle number three is a wavy undercut and this is a very popular hairstyle I mean everyone's done the undercut you guys can find tons of videos on how to do an undercut so this undercut is very easy and very fashion forward as well and it's a very easy haircut to get and it's very hard for your barber not to understand what an undercut is so to me it's a very safe cut because you could go get an undercut anywhere it's the staple style of just cool so I think this hairstyle is very amazing I think it's very easy to keep it's very easy to get as well I think so many barbers have probably done this by now because it's such a popular hairstyle that it is very cool it is very edgy but it's still you can still get away with it by wearing it with a tuxedo and I think that it's become such a norm that it's a very versatile hairstyle that now is just kind of like normalized so you guys don't have to really worry about your haircut being too edgy or being too crazy if you do get an undercut. For this hairstyle, I highly recommend you guys using a um, blow dryer to blow dry your hair because usually for the undercuts, the top is a lot lengthier and the, sh the sides are probably this short right here. So you guys could go anywhere from, you know, a zero to a two to a three. So it totally depends on what your preference are for undercut. But as far as maintaining the top, you guys could use clays, you guys could use uh, even pomades if you guys want and you guys could ex be a little bit more experimental with your length. And also depending on how deep your curls are or how wavy your hair is and what kind of hairstyle you want to go for it i highly recommend you guys buying a vent brush so you guys could so you guys could manage more of the wave and see what direction you want to go for so any vent brush would do as long as it doesn't damage your hair and a blow dryer and another good thing about this haircut is that it slims your face because the sides are very short so anyone that wants to kind of have a slimmer face or, or give that illusion then this is the perfect haircut for you because you have no weight on the sides and it's just because you have no weight on the sides and all your hair length is up here so it's elongating your face and it just makes you look a lot slimmer so that's a nice little tip and trick for you guys as well now for those of you who are a little more sophisticated don't want it to, to walk on the edge as much want to keep it cool want to keep it clean maybe wear a uh, you know a uh, uh, blue collar shirt then you guys could go for it the wavy slick back cut and this is a very sick stylish 
photo right here of this gentleman. And as you can see, it has a little bit more length. It's kind of like the messy quiff, but ideally you probably want the size a little bit longer. It's very easy to achieve. All you need is damp hair, your fingers, and a nice pomade. So this one is a little bit more for someone who doesn't necessarily want very short size or want a very edgy look or want a lot of volume. So it's a little bit more conservative. It's a nice classic haircut and especially having wavy hair it's very easy to do and maintain as well you don't necessarily have to do much the trick about the slick back look with wavy hair is that you don't want to use a brush or a comb because we don't necessarily need that so if you want to comb your hands with your fingers that's perfect and find a nice pomade or a styling cream that works that has enough hold but not too much hold because as you know if you use a high hold product with wavy hair then it just looks very awkward and the thing about having wavy hair and textured curly hair is that you're able to reshape your hair and just kind of run your fingers through it and use the natural texture and volume that it has for me this hairstyle is very classic it's a little bit more sophisticated than the other three hairstyles but it's easy to maintain and it's easy to do as well so like I said, all you need is a really good pomade in your fingers and your hair is somewhat damp to achieve this really cool hairstyle like this. So there you guys have it. Get, get your classy look on. Now haircut number five are for those who have longer locks, longer length. If you guys have real longer, if you guys have a lot of length. So I'm saying anywhere from five to seven to six, eight inches maybe. And this one is a picture of Johnny Depp right here. As you guys see, this is the staple of men's hair, especially with this long curly wavy beachy hair which is insane i absolutely love this i actually had my hair like this maybe like six years ago it's a very easy to maintain as well uh the only thing that i would suggest is that you guys maintain the sides make sure that you get like a nice little undercut uh not too short on the sides but just something that's going to blend into your hair because this is where it gets very messy especially if you have wavy curly hair then it just gets very bushy on the side so you want to make sure that that's at about a four or a five and it's cleaned up nice and tidy if you guys want to go for a very wavy beach hairstyle there's a lot of hair products out there you could even go looking at what women use because you have longer hair uh, there's a nice texturizing sprays. There's boost sprays. You can use hair creams or hair lotions. Uh, the good thing about having wavy longer hair is that you don't need much. The waves are going to be even more pronounced. The texture is going to be even more pronounced as well. So if you want to have a very sick hair, long hairdo like Johnny Depp, then I don't think it's a problem when you have uh, wavy or curly hair. Unless your hair is very, very curly, extremely curly, then it's going to be a lot harder. But you guys could always use a vent brush as well to kind of control the length of the wave and how it goes in the directions. Um, it's a very easy thing to do. I could probably show you if I have someone with longer hair to show you on. But like I said, the products are very easy. It's very easy to maintain. You want to use a good shampoo. You want to make sure that you get a nice maintenance. You want to make sure you still get a little bit. You still want to make sure that you get bang trims on the side so it won't look too messy or too sloppy because just because you have longer hair doesn't mean that you have to look like you don't absolutely care about it and it looks a lot better when you do have some maintenance done to it so that's my biggest uh, recommendation for longer hair but other than that if you guys want to let your hair grow out it's going to look very sick with longer and wavy hair and you don't really have to do much once it, just, it gets there and accept uh, accept all the compliments and oh your hair is cool and you're like yeah that's right so, so yeah guys that's what i have for you guys today these are five different hairstyles you guys could use and achieve with wavy hair the good thing about these haircuts are that it's all about preferences so you guys could go ahead and ask for a wavy uh, quiff a wavy uh or a wavy fringe and it doesn't really matter no matter what type of hair length that you have or want it still could be done so hope you guys enjoy it let me know what hairstyle you guys are rocking right now as you guys can see my haircut is a little bit more edgy or very short it's a nice fade almost a burst fade um something very experimental for the summer but it's gonna grow back hair is hair hair is not like a tattoo it definitely grows back so it's definitely temporary so it's all good so don't be afraid to get a haircut and experiment with your hair because it grows back in a matter of week so it's all good i hope you guys enjoy this video if you guys haven't followed me on instagram yet please do so right now at by carlos roberto and i'll see you guys there uh otherwise thank you so much and uh yeah let's talk down below in the comment section peace out guys don't forget to put style on everything Bye.